Hello class, this is going to be a Brightspace tour for your online speech class. From the home page, which you can find very easily by going to this little widget up here, you will want to click on your Fundamentals of Speech class. And I'm going to point out the things that are the most important to you for survival in this class. The first thing is up on the navigation bar of this class, you want to embrace content. Many students don't embrace content in an online speech class and uh, they tend to get bad grades because they don't follow directions. Everything you need is in content. It is all there for you already. All of the table of contents, course information, and every module. Each module equals a week's worth of work. So depending on when you take this class, if you're taking it, say, in the winter intercession, then one day equals one week. So module one is only a day. Um, everything that you will want to know to be successful for each week's work or each module's work is in here and you can scroll through. So here is your assignment and it'll bring you up and it'll show you you must print, read, and sign every page of the syllabus and the professor-student contract. Many people only do the syllabus and they only sign one page or they only do the professor-student contract and only sign one page and then they get mad at me because uh, they get a bad grade or they only get half credit. That's because you didn't read the directions. The directions are here. Over here, you can scroll through the rest of what you need to look at for Module 1. This is where you would put the assignment. You upload it here, and you can add the attachments and then hit Submit. You can keep going because there's more things to do. Assignment 2, watch the YouTube help tutorials to help make a YouTube channel and then send the link of your channel to the instructor. That's your next assignment. The next thing that will happen is a new window will open up, which will show you how to make a YouTube channel. Or if you already have a YouTube channel, then you don't need it. All right. Then you can go to the next part, which is where you add your attachment. And as soon as you add your attachment, you can um, give me a screenshot of your YouTube channel, and then it'll send you to a comment section and that comment section will allow you to copy and paste your link. And then you can hit submit. The next thing you have to do in this first week's work is you have to go to the Getting to Know You forum. And that is here. You will need to post your name, your major, where you were born, and who your favorite person is. After that, you need to respond to four other students' posts with college level spelling and grammar, which lots of people fail to do, and then they get mad at me. So yes, you're in college, and I do expect you to use college level communication skills when you are discussing anything in this class, because you are in college. If you cite anything, make sure you follow Modern Languages Association's use of citation, which is what we use in this class. So you can click on this hyperlink, and it'll take you there so you can make a thread. I'm going to show you that in another thing in a second. Um, the next thing that you will want to do is take the course test. Um, and on yours, it will say quiz um, that you can start it. And you'll hit here and go ahead. It's only like six questions. And as long as you have read and signed every page of the professor student contract and the syllabus, then you will be able to answer these questions. It's very easy. But if you don't do that, then you're in trouble. After that, I have a lot of resources to help you know how to do this class, how to record your speeches, which will come up in the next module. Um, I will have, and then it'll go to module two, which would be the next week's work or the next day's work, depending on when you take this class. All right. But as you can see, if you go down the navigation bar, you can see everything is open for you already to open and look at. All right. Um, the next thing that's really important in this class for survival is understanding the discussions. And I have links to those in content, so you don't ever have to really go to discussion, but it, it's there for you. 
Every discussion in this class is already here. You can only go to the discussion on the one that has a hyperlink, a blue color. And um, one thing that people don't look at often are the rubrics on how I grade, and then they get really grumpy with me. So I always tell you how I'm grading things. Um, you need to have your first post in for, say, the intercession before 10 a.m. 10 a.m. in the module that the feedback is due. You need to respond to four or more students, depending on the discussion. Some, some discussions require you to respond to everybody. And I do expect you to have good grammar, spelling, and netiquette. And this will be how I grade you, and you can see the points, etc. You start a new thread here by hitting start a new thread and you can do the things that I have. When I've taken online classes, often what I do is I will grab this and copy and paste it into this and then I will put the things that I need to do. And I'll put my name, etc. But um, I'm not going to do that because I already made one. Uh, you can look at mine, which is already here. And there it is, and you can reply to me if you so choose. I can be one of the four people you reply to. Um, the next thing that is really important is grades are important. Uh, I don't typically use awards. That's a new thing, and it might not be on the navigation bar by the time you start this class. Um, but the next thing that's really important is class progress. This is where I give you your grades and all of your notes about what happens in this class. Now, it looks different for me, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and go to view as student. And when I go to class progress in view as student, there is no available progress available for this user um, because I haven't graded anything nor turned anything in as a student in this class. But what you will find is that when you scroll down, when there is stuff, there will be things along the left-hand side navigation bar for you to look at. You will also see a bar graph, and if I go back to uh, not viewing as a student, I can show you your bar graphs. And you go to class progress. And you can see that you can click on everything on this bar graph. And this bar graph will tell you a lot of stuff. What you've done, when you've been there, etc. There will be a summary. And there will often be things on this side that will tell you my grades and my feedback. And if I grade with a rubric, the rubric will be there for you to look at. You can also see that in grades. When you go to grades, um, you can look at it um, in different ways, but uh, that, that is another place that you can look at it. But mostly, if you want my feedback and how to improve and continue to get good grades in the class, you will always want to be going to class progress. The last thing that's important is to know where the home page for each class is because most of my communication happens here. I will always have announcements for you. Many of the announcements are already put on a date, so you won't see any right now, but they would be here in announcements, and they, there will be plenty of them. There will be some coming soon. Also, the calendar is here, so it always tells you your due dates. Everything that is due in this class will always be on the calendar, and all of the due dates will be there at the top of the semester. All right, so that is your basic tour, just to review your best friends are content, class progress, and the home page for the class itself, which has the calendar with your due dates and will have announcements with anything that I have to communicate with you. I often send video tutorials after every speech, and that will be an expectation for you to watch so that you know the general feedback of all the speeches that occurred and things that everyone can improve upon. All right, good luck, and uh, I will see you online.